He is my least favorite straw wow. hat. Least favorite straw hat. Wow. I love That's him. So for, disrespectful. I love him for different reasons. Oh my god. But I would say that me, him and Sanji are kind of tied. Hello and welcome to another episode of Volume 1, the anime and manga podcast where we highlight and discuss new series each week. But today we are back with more One Piece, which means that my name is Josh Ranking Michaels. And today I am joined by Megan Tearless Perrine. There we freaking go. <laughs> um, we're back with technically, I guess, another Done Piece video, although this video will be a little different. Um, we're going to be taking, this is our version of taking a break. Taking um, it easy. Taking, taking it, easy. it easy. Today, um, in preparation for the post time skip era of One Piece, we are going to be looking back at everything that has happened so far, ranking some of our favorite arcs, ranking our straw hats, our favorite straw hats. Uh, we have a what One Piece character quiz are you that we want to take if we have time. We're going to get to um, what our pirate crew would be. Megan found like a little generator online that seems like it'll be a lot of fun uh, and really cool to do. And at the very end, so stay tuned to the very end, we will be revealing a sneak peek at our new Done Piece artwork. Yay! Because, you know, if the Straw Hats... You know, if they get like a, if they get a, a, a facelift, mm -hmm. if they get, you know, new fits, if they get new looks, then it's only right that we do, too. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. We've waited uh, three days and two years. Three. For our reveal. <laughs> yeah. Three days and two years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm very excited to uh, rank these rank these arcs and rank uh, mm. the characters. Um, I think that we're going to have uh, a, a few differences in, in where we think things should be ranked. Yeah. So that's going to be fun for you to watch because this is a video that I think it's more entertaining if we kind of just talk it out as we do it. Uh, so I don't know. We're going to do one ranking uh, and then we're going to do two rankings for our for our favorite straw hats. Um, but we're going to have to we're going to have to find some middle ground here. We're going to have to we're going to have to maybe make some compromises. And I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, there's I, I have a feeling there'll be a couple that we're like, oh, hands down. This has to go here. This yeah. has to go here. Um, but based off of personal preferences, like, you know, obviously character introductions, character backstories, I think. um, we might have differences, but yeah. we'll see. And it is like, you know, it's going to be kind of crazy, like looking back all yeah. the way. So like all I do have, back. I do have like the wiki kind of open so we can be like, oh, this is right. obviously, I mean, we've read a lot of One Piece and, um, you know, we're yeah. eventually, you know, I don't even know when, but a reread as of right now <laughs> has not been able to happen. So um, bear with us and we will do it to the best of our abilities with yeah, we strong, got the, strong opinions. Yeah. Just like Megan said, we got the wiki up just in case. I don't know if we're going to need it. I don't feel um, like we're going to be going to it too often, but not only One Piece, I mean, because of like the nature of how our channel works and the amount of things that we try to cover. Exactly. It's a lot to keep track of. So we yeah. have it there just in case as a safety net, but I don't, I don't really think we're going to be needing it because it's all fresh in my mm. mind. And if I see, you know, if I see a character, if I see an image or I just, if I just see anything from that arc, it's going to unlock something and I'm going to just be transported memory. right back to where I was yeah. when I was reading it. Um, so without further ado, let's just get into it and let's rank these arcs. All right, so what we have here is a, a tier list that we found online. Um, it's going to be kind of hard for you at home to see exactly um, what pictures these arcs are from. We will say their name. And frankly, mm -hmm. it's going to be hard for us to see, too, because this text <laughs> is tiny. OK, uh, but we found this online and um, we're making do with what we got. Mm -hmm. So first on this list is and it's the arcs are kind of out of order too yeah that yeah, might yeah. be more fun that might be end up being more conducive to uh ranking these mm -hmm, things because mm -hmm. if we go chronologically it, it things might fall in a different place yeah. than if we just kind of do it 
um, randomly. Yeah, definitely. So the first arc here is Alabasta. We have S A B C D, of course, just like any tier list. Mm -hmm. um, Alabasta. Remember, we have arcs like Amazon Lily. We have arcs like Marine Ford, Sabote. Um, uh, we have arcs like you know Sabote, Marine Ford for sure. Impel down. Uh, so you know, don't off of uh, you know just first. Just off of like your 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 gut reaction, mm -hmm. you know. Don't I? I know you might want to put it high, but uh, let's let's think about all the other arcs that we have to rank. Alabasta, where are you putting it? Hmm. A lot of people. I mean, I really did. I I did like Alabasta. Um. I think that a lot happened. I loved Vivi, especially like Karu is like one of the cutest little things in the world. Um, and I did like Luffy's growth here. Um, you know, yeah, Luffy did experience a lot of like growth as a captain. Thanks to Vivi. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. the and first it was time. kind of like the first time all of them, not all of them, but a lot of the straw hats were like together fighting. So that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Um, but, mm, and, and you know, know. This, is, this is an I mean, we're, we're going to probably figure it out and have to do some rearranging too. So don't hold us to anything right away. But uh, Alabasta right now, I mean, in, in terms of like S, A and B, Alabasta was really good. We got a lot of the, the, the cool fights mm -hmm. happened in Alabasta. I think even um, if if I'm not mistaken, a lot of the, the like the didn't the Usopp uh, and the the wiener dog gun yeah. happen in Alabasta. That was a really fun fight. And obviously, like uh, Smoker and Luffy, too. Yeah, because see, yeah, what's technically like. Log Town, what's technically Alabasta, but Alab when I think Alabasta, I think Crocodile, yeah. first introduction to Crocodile, I think Vivi, I think about, you know, obviously the Kingdom of Alabasta, so I'm going to say, for right now, let's put it at A, Okay. and it's probably going to move, I don't see it going up to S, but I, 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 I it might go to B, but I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy here with it okay. at, at, at A. How do you feel? Good? Yeah, I, I know for sure when people talk about one piece like obviously they talk about like water seven and any yeah, lobby yeah. and i know people really really put alabasta like in well, like the I s said, tier uh, it, but it might go up. yeah 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 for me like i think that's a good spot for it okay and, and and see that's the thing as you go deeper into the series you you connect more and grow uh you feel like you you become bonded yeah. with these characters you you form like an emotional connection mm -hmm. uh and so you know you're gonna maybe off of off of uh, you know just emotions, mm. you're gonna want to uh, rank those arcs higher because of just the connection you felt to them yeah. during uh, that uh, that specific part. Anyway, Amazon Lily is next. Ooh. Amazon Lily was so much fun. It really was. Amazon Lily to me, I think, is another arc that I I you know I don't think anybody s spoke ill of it necessarily, but compared to it gets lost. I think sometimes with all the other like you said, water water seven and he's lobby and pull down yeah. and forward. Um, so Bodhi, but, uh, I really had a good time and it was the introduction of Boa and we learned about the fishmen, uh, and, and their, their, their mark mm -hmm. and the, the mark of the, you know, the slaves the celestial and, and, and the celestial yeah. dragon, the hoof of the celestial dragon dragons. Um, this was a, this was a good, this was a good arc. This was a solid arc. I'm tempted to put it, um, at, at a again. Because, I, again, I don't think it's an S-tier arc. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> the end of the video is like all One Piece arcs are A and S. Yeah, is anything going to be a D? <laughs> I, I, I just don't. I don't know. Um, but, we're, I mean, I, I mean, the, I mean we, we, we learn more about hockey in, in this uh, arc. Um, and it is one of the first arcs that we do see Luffy And we alone. get to spend time with just Luffy. Yeah, yeah, which you really liked. So I would put it at A for now. For now. Things can, um, things A for are Amazon Lily, of yeah. course. Um, things are probably going to move. Yeah. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Arlong Park. Woo! I mean, S. S tier? For uh, me? S tier. I mean... Everything with Nami, like that's that's the hardest part. It's like every character introduction, like I want to just give S because mm -hmm. they're all right. done so well. Right. Like you know, I mean, oh, I I did really did like Arlong Park a lot. Um, yeah. 
Wow. Maybe not S, but maybe. No, I mean, look, you're right. I loved our Arlong, so Arlong Park because of Nami's backstory, and uh, it was it was it was so touching. One of my favorites of the Straw Hats for and sure. Now, like looking how uh, how much like Arlong, like everything yeah, involved exactly. in it, it's it it like holds so much more weight than when the first time I read it. It was our first uh, intro to, to Hachi too. Yeah. So now I'm like, oh, and I just love. Uh, yeah, it was it was it was great. Megan and, says S tier. Okay, th- like I said, like every character introduction, I just want to give an S because I love them all so much, and I do think that every character is introduced so well uh, from the Straw Hats for sure. I think my least favorite introduction. Um, <sighs> hmm. I, I I'm hmm. gonna put. Well, it's hard. And, uh, we'll, we'll, we will probably discover it as uh, as we go. You're gonna put it A. I'll put it. I'll B. put it for ne- no Arlong Park. I'll put it. <laughs> I don't know. Well, oh, because you said B. I'm not gonna put well, that B. Because I don't know where you're landing. So for right now, because it's again a character introduction, I am tempted to put it at S or A. <laughs> I don't want just for the sake of shaking things up. Things are gonna move, but just not having three things at A off the bat. Okay. We'll put it at S because it does hold some significance later. I do feel like that's gonna change again. I hate to keep saying that. Though. <laughs> um see so, yeah the, the literally the letters are so tiny uh let me i think i have it right here um this is what is it barate yeah yeah barate uh the the barati barate Barati. the uh, sanji um mm-hmm. sanji mm-hmm. arc uh or introduction arc the the cooks um arc i i i i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna I don't know what to expect in terms of like people's reaction to, to this, but this was good. This was a good arc. Um, and, but for me, Sanji's backstory was doing a lot of the heavy lifting mm, in this arc. I agree. It's, it's, it is Zoro's first encounter with Mihawk, which was sick, which sets, you know, the precedent for like why he is the way he is and yeah. why he wants to achieve and strive to be so much better. Why he takes it so much Seri- more seriously and again the hard thing to do with these arcs it's like you oda sets all of this up and then makes you appreciate everything that's happened to this point because it's like oh if we would have ranked these before we even got to where we are right now uh it has it, it definitely is different meaning because zoro's like fighting mihawk here and now he's like oh can you teach me like yeah crazy so yeah. that's why every arc is so difficult to rank but i would i would maybe put it at a b yeah i was gonna say yeah. b uh, uh, honestly b for barate bar 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 barati 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 past the barati to the left hand side i put it right here at b yeah uh again i think this is where we meet don krieg as well don krieg Eh. 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 in terms of villains i mean i again every backstory sanji's backstory was awesome to see um and it was really really touching but yeah b i think is where it lands as of right now and the the Um, reason i i want to say too that you know when i'm looking at this and this is what's going to happen we're going to have to look and say like okay well is mm -hmm. arlong park above alabasta and people hold alabasta to a very high regard alabasta had some great moments but it did feel like really long and it felt like really drawn drawn out and like not in a bad way and well, people, of course it was drawn out it's a manga okay that was good <laughs> uh, and people have said like you know beware or not beware but just be ready for the new world because the arcs get a lot longer i don't mind long arcs but i don't know something about alabasta i love vivi mm. i love crocodile but uh, there was a there there I don't know. There was a lot going on and I it agree. didn't feel like it all like grabbed me as much as the later certain, arcs. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. the later arcs, but like mm-hmm. even within that arc, certain things like didn't grab me as much as other things, which is going to happen. But I don't know. That's why I would think Arlong Park, because it was more condensed, concise and mm-hmm. has a lot of meaning later. And I'm sure Alabasta does, too. That's why it is the way it is. Um, Drum Island. <sighs> I know this is where we're going to have to have S- a long triple, uh, triple, conversation. Uh, Triple, triple, mm-hmm. S double, triple, a double, triple, a double, triple. I let's triple. let's really okay. Let's really think about it, right? Drum Island, obviously, outside of being an introduction to Chopper, uh, I actually really liked the the. I think it was Wapple. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't. I, you know, I, I didn't like him as a villain. He was very annoying. Nothing compared to Spandam, but <laughs> Luffy's moment with the flag 
Uh, yeah. That was the first like that. That was like the first kind of uh, inkling, or that was just like the twinkle of what he would do again mm-hmm. when Soge King would shoot down the world government flag. This was him like putting his Jolly Roger, uh, you know, into the castle and declaring, you know, what it meant to him. And it was a really emotional moment, and I really liked this arc a lot. Am I going to give it S? I don't know, but it it, it, it is a. <laughs> Uh, I'm willing, you know, we're going to have to make a lot of compromise. I am. I'm just joking. Obviously, I have mm-hmm. a prior love, uh, f- prior love. Uh, I have, uh, prior what's the love? word? What's the word? I have, um, I don't a know. Bias? Yes, a bias. Thank you, to dictionary. Chopper? Yes, obviously, I love Chopper. Obviously, I love his introduction as a character. Um, you know, the first time we see him and Nami interact, he's like hiding behind a wall. He, I think now is so much more confident going with the straw hats and, you know, finding who he truly is and, um, you know, finding someone that loved him and, and, and taught him all of these things and, you know, drove him to want to be one of the best doctors to cure yeah. all illnesses. And, um, I Dr. really, Kariha too. yeah, she's an awesome character. I, I actually mean, really like Dalton a lot. Dalton's too. awesome. I like Dalton a lot. So I really liked it. Um, I would, I mean, I don't know if you want to put it in A or B, but I'll put it, I'll put it A, I'll put it A for now. I mean, again, that's a bias, but I really did enjoy it. Uh, now here, I believe this is Annie's lobby. If mm-hmm. I'm, uh, correct, it doesn't have uh, yeah. a, uh, a, uh, bar at the bottom of it, but it is the, it is the famous Robin pose. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. When you type Nico Robin into Google, the I want to live picture and this picture. Yeah, you got Lucci too. The most. I wonder if like this is including obviously post Annie's Lobby. Um, either way, Annie's Lobby. Where is Annie's Lobby? I mean, this was one of the most uh, like built up character kind of backstories that we've gotten we've got it with luffy obviously now that we've read like the post time or post war arc um and it was really drawn out but everything was like so well deserved we learned a lot about robin and like what she stands for and i really 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 liked it i loved her interactions, obviously, with the straw hats, but also with like Frankie too. Mm-hmm. Like Frankie had a lot of shine, obviously, um, in this arc. But you know, this is the first time we actually see you know Luffy and the straw hats like get down. You know. Yeah. Um. I again am having such a hard time seeing this thing because I do see Baby Robin right here too. So I'm wondering what what that is. And we could zoom in, I guess, but it's going to make everything kind of caca. So I don't I don't want to risk it. Baby Robin where? Um, right, right here to the right. Right here. Robin. Uh, well, she looks like a baby. That's the Jaya arc. Oh, that's Jaya. Yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> she looks like a baby. Uh, OK, so this is Annie's <laughs> lobby then. So, yeah, I agree with, the, you know, there was a lot of cool Frankie moments. Obviously, we're, we're getting to Annie's lobby here uh, before Water 7. This is Lucci. Pastor Lucci was uh, obviously born here. Um, so I, you know, I got a little bias. You got biased for Drum Island. I got biased for this. Uh, it was the first time that there was really, there did really seem to be this like intense, like build up where, where just like everything was leading to this crazy mm-hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. It was Luffy's first stand against the government. This is S2. Yeah. This is S2. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I mean, there's not really any. Yeah, there's there's no real debate. Yeah, this is S. Um, but yeah. Jaya. 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 I, you know, Nolan the Liar was in Jaya. Jaya, which was um, an awesome little I sliver. I loved that story. Yeah, that's I, what I really, loved that story. I think when I read that, I mean, I was already having fun with One Piece, but I read that and I was like, Oh, this is what we're doing now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like, this is what we're doing now. Like, it was so cool to see that story and see um, that flashback of this character that we've kind of been told about that we weren't supposed to take seriously. And Oda was like, oh, you guys think this is like a child's like fairy tale book? No, this is a real person, a real man who did all of this shit. And this is how it how, how it went down. And I was like, oh, yeah, I, I really liked the 
idea that you know this guy was de- he dedicated his life to like proving his yeah. uh, proving that his ancestor was either he he wanted to he didn't want to do it to necessarily clear his name I don't think he if I remember correctly like he it just he just wanted to know whether this man was like mm-hmm. telling the truth or not um i just i really did like that story i liked that reveal i liked how once they got to skypea this was also i think luffy's first um encounter with blackbeard mm. happened in jaya and um all, and, and i think we we did we we didn't i think we meet ace in logtown if i'm if i'm correct or yeah no, uh i i think ace was met um in alabasta I, I don't know, but I, I, uh, I think that for right? me, you know, this, 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 uh, this arc is good. This arc is, um, mm-hmm. I, I remember like when I was reading, I had a good time, especially like I said, in, in, when they go to Skypea and just that lineage, that history, um, and that bond that, the, and the flashback of Nolan, the liar, like doing what he did now again, I, I don't know if that's, this is Jaya. I, I'm assuming Skypea is its own separate, uh, thing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if this is just Jaya, then I would, I liked it a lot, but I mean, you know, we're comparing it to other arcs, right? Yeah. And we can't give everything freaking S's and A's. That's what I said. It's going to be just like so difficult. <sighs> but I, I mean, I, I really had a good time, but I guess I really had a good time. <laughs> uh, I want to give it a, where are you landing? Like, where do you think you're landing? I would probably put Jaya. I would okay. Let's see. Um, it's hard. It is hard. I would maybe put as much as this hurts me to say. You no, put, you put it. No, I was gonna put a B. I was gonna. I was gonna maybe move Drum Island, but I can't do it to myself right now. We'll wait till the end. Okay. Okay. Because I. I. I yeah. So you still wanted a. Jaya, I liked Jaya. I I wouldn't be. You wouldn't put B. I wouldn't be devastated if it was at B. Then put yeah, put it at A. Put it at A. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. For now, things are gonna yeah. things are gonna change. Impel oh, down you S. See our, you can't even see our S tiers up here. Impel down S. Impel down S. Uh, Impel down. Uh, honestly, for me, I had a b- bomb, bomb time. It, it was, was bomb. So Impel much fun. <laughs> Impel down was so bomb, dude. <laughs> bomb Clay, the goat. Um, who, you know, someone left in our comments and they said it wasn't a spoiler because it was addressed in an SBS, but we talked about in mm-hmm. our previous episode that Magellan had, had mentioned that, uh, you know, or, uh, Sengoku had mentioned that, uh, Magellan was pretty fucked up, meaning that Blackbeard and his crew, crew mm-hmm. must've done some damage. And maybe that would have meant that Bonclay survived. Someone said that, uh, it was asked in an SBS and, uh, Oda said that Bonclay is uh the new head of new comma and he's just he's just keeping it keeping he's it holding it down he's holding it down he's holding it impled down down there <laughs> and he's just keeping keeping the party going yeah he's keeping the, he's keeping the, the rager the Hell rager yeah going. that's so fun i mean yeah i don't think that we would get a flashback to bon clay literally being like tortured to death but um it wouldn't it have did surprised seem me like that was yeah, gonna happen but Bon Clay's the goat. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't Impled give a. Down. I don't care if you come at us for putting Impel Down in S tier. It. Impel Down was great. And everything. to see Luffy work with all of these villains to see it was the return of so many people. It was the return of Buggy. It was the return of. I mean, he Buggy made an appearance uh, earlier, but this was like where where Luffy was really interacting with Buggy a lot. You know, he put. Since Croc- the first crocodile. Time since no, I mean, he, he, no, I he mean, had seen him again, or he had come back into the story. He was in, uh, I think, Logtown uh, with uh, Alveda. And they, well, that's what, I, yeah, that's, I he, mean, like, really, really talking with Luffy, though. Like, right, fighting well, with Luffy. Yeah, like, but I mean, he came back in a major way in Impel Down. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, Ivankov was uh, introduced, and Crocodile, seeing them all team up, you know, obviously, yeah, we Yvonne got Jean Bay, Bon Clay made it, I mean, this is goaded. This is a goaded arc, Impel Down. Um, plus, Impel Down Rock is a banger. Okay. <laughs> I cannot for the life of me That's fucking see. That's a little see. garden. It's a little garden. Okay, little garden. I have it open Sorry, right I, Sorry I lost my cool okay, right there. Okay, you got really scary. I don't see Skypea right on here, which is wild. Which is wild. I mean, I know, you know, some people say that they're not fans of Skypea, but to leave it off the <laughs> list entirely, disrespectful. They just straight up forgot it. They just straight up forgot it. 
Oh, God. Um, all what right. What kind of list is this? It's a bunk list, dude. We're going to have to put Skypea in uh, somewhere else uh, and either just, you'll just have to take our word for it or we might have to upload a little image or something. But mm -hmm. so right here, we got a little garden. Okay. Little garden. I'm putting that shit at a B off top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I mean. That's what, like, what is it going to be a C or a D? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like what, 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 what can we possibly do, you guys? Like, what do you want us to do? Like, if anything, I would feel the, like, I don't, it pains me and it hurts me. But if, like, you know, someone had a gun to my head and was like, you got to put something at C right now, I would put Little Garden there. Uh, because Little Garden was fun. It was fun. But, but like, mm -hmm. I mean, the grand scheme of things, like, yeah, the Giants, you know, meeting them and their story was cool. But, um, you know, in the grand scheme yeah. of things, if we're going to have to put something at a C, it's got to be Little Garden. It's got to be Little Garden. Uh, although I do think I, I would, you know, it, it would be fine if it was at a B, but let's just, let's just keep it interesting. Now we got Log Town. Mm. Log Town is, I believe, you know, where they, where that's where Smoker, Tashigi. Yeah. Right. Um, and I believe that's where we meet uh, for the first time. We meet Vivi's, uh, Vivi's guy with the curl, with the curls. Um, he looks like a, you know, he looks like an old British politician, mm. you know? Uh, I think yeah, we meet, guy's cool. I think we meet Baroque works uh, around this time too, or do they, have, it looks like they might have their separate thing over here. Um, log town, I think is, is more specifically like the first appearance of dragon. And, um, it is where the, they go to the, uh, they, they, the execution platform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was really good. This was a lot of, there was a lot of cool moments here. Um, definitely the first appearance of dragon was cool, but we didn't know anything about him at the time. And then, you know, Luffy had a hard time with Smoker. This is where I think Ace for sure gives uh, Luffy the Vivri card. Uh, because this is where they escape and, and Ace jumps on the boat. So, cool stuff. Logtown's just not jumping out in my, um, jumping out in my, uh, in my, in my heart for sure right now. Mm. So, I would have to say Logtown, it be for me. Mm, above Little Garden. Above Little Garden because, okay. you know, we Ace, you know, we, we, we mm. Dragon, you know. Okay, yeah. It, was, it was the return of Buggy uh, and Alveda, which was cool. Marine Ford, fucking S, dude. Get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. We don't even need to have a conversation about mm -hmm. that. Dude, Garp, uh, Ace's death, <laughs> uh, Dan's heartbreaking, you know, just hear, her hearing the news. I mean, family, heartbreak, tragedy, um, fuck a Kainu. You know, and some people say like, you know, we forget that Ace was, you know, we forget that Ace was a criminal and we forget, you know, I I'm like, whose side are you on? And I'm like, bro, you know? go work for the government then. Yeah. Right? <laughs> go work for the government. Like what? Like, like, <laughs> come on, dude. Uh, Ace didn't deserve to go out like that. No one deserves to go out like that. Um, that was a little excessive. And Ace is a, is, is a, is a beacon of freedom and, um, you know, an example. And uh, I love Ace. Mm. So Orange Town. This is Orange Orange Town. Why is fucking was Buggy? Oh, I guess. Buggy? Yeah, Buggy was in Orange oh, Town. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right, that's this right. is the first appearance of Nami too. First appearance of mm -hmm. Nami. Mm -hmm. I'm putting this one I, I, off top, off gut. I'm going B, but uh, I mean, cause, B. Go ahead. Because mm. we don't. I mean, and you know, it is. I mean, we got some we got some heavy hitters in S. It might make me want to move Arlong Park back down, but we'll we'll revisit this at the end. We'll revisit it at the end. I agree. I mean, I was just going off of what, I, especially since we are so close to Fishman Island, like what more you know information we'll learn, and everyone like has told us, and it, I've already felt it too, like how much uh, meaning Arlong Park has now. Um, and even interesting, more interesting is uh, you know in the newest volumes of one piece how much skypea and also um i think it was is it in thriller bark thriller bark thriller bark yeah how much that comes into play which is really cool um but look, yeah look. i would put i would put um orange town um at a b mm, b for buggy buggy b for buggy yeah because we have we have a um, I mean, I think for amazon the, lily yeah Barte, Barate, Barati, 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 
baseball, um, we got that at B, you know. But I think, too, you know, the, the, there was the <laughs> touching, you know, story with the dog in Orange Town, yeah, too. Yeah, I was just remembering that. Um, but I oh still God. think, you know, c- again, compared to these juggernauts we got up here, yeah. um, it's going to have to it's going to have to be at a uh, at a at a B for me. Okay, let's see. Um, now one. it looks like we got Sabodi. Right that here. is post-war arc. Oh, post-war. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So Bodhi's over here. <laughs> um, post-war was pretty lit, dude. Post-war got, was very lit. Actually, post-war was where we got the uh, the Dan moment. In, yeah, in exactly. Post and Gart moment. Mm-hmm. That was post-war. We got Sabo. Right off the... Right off... Introduction you know, the, of Sabo. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of fun reading this, and it did make me... Uh, you know, kind of, um, it made me realize like how human Luffy is, even though he does have this like crazy power. These devil fruits are crazy. And we kind of just forget because he's always kind of like, you know, running around and fighting people and, you know, not really like getting down to the nitty gritty of his feelings. We've seen him be emotional before. We've seen him stand up for other people. We've seen him do all this, but to see him in this state, um, with Jim Bay, this happens, yeah, post-war, right? When, when that whole scene with Jim Bay and him and all of that, I, yeah. I believe, right? Uh, yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's either honestly, S or A. Uh, yeah. No, there's no other way. Um, mm, I mean, they kind of go hand in hand, don't they? Um, Marine Ford and, and post-war go hand in hand as one big arc. S. Yeah. S for Sabo. <laughs> oh, yes, we're on the. Oh, yeah, it's we're on track. S-A-B. It almost said up. Oh. oh, it almost does say Sabo. Uh, it says Sabakt. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do. Post-war was so lit. And if we, we want to talk about character backstories, this is the fucking captain, dude. Yeah. This is the captain. We're getting Luffy's backstory here. Yeah. Um, him training. Epic. Uh, you know, just the, the, the 3D 2Y um you know be- leading up to the the post time skip leading up to the post time skip and literally seeing him and Ray Lee like yeah. he, taking him under his wing like yeah. so lit yes. such a crazy thing to leave off on and what a great way to wrap it all up before the 2 year mark I mean before they yeah. all meet up again it just it excited me in a way that One Piece hasn't done in a like not yeah. a long time, but it made me just like oh like yes like I mean there was a certain point where I was taking it might have been uh when the C train was introduced where I was just taking the C hype train you know yeah to freaking hype town because you, you were know, the I, Frankie your boy yeah but I mean it was like at that point forward it just like kept getting better and better and better mm. and better and better and that's what it felt like um reverse mountain reverse mountain this introduction is with to Laboon. Laboon. And again, like other arcs make other arcs better. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's a valid point. <laughs> that's just point. crazy. Um, I really did. I mean, this was super sad and it's even sadder with more context. Um, but I, I did like it. I did like Luffy, um, you know, usually he stands up to enemies mm-hmm. and kind of puts them in their place. But this was like a person who he wanted to help that was in you know like a morning type of state sure, and yeah. like now seeing like Jimbe do that with luffy and saying like what do you have and giving laboon that you know oh you don't do that because i'll be back to fight you like giving someone something to live for a, yeah a purpose for. and now that brook like oh i don't know if that ever happens i i mean it's crazy how it wouldn't happen but but look <sighs> i'm gonna say this because we meet vivi here for the first time too in reverse mountain and I'm just going to put it in D just so people can see what we're talking about. Just so we can, just so people can see because it's not showing up on the screen. Um, we meet Vivi here for the first time mm. under her alias, under her, you know, uh, she was in disguise. She was a double agent. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But really outside of Laboon. And I think this is where we're even like, le- like they even learn about the, the log poses. This is when they make it to the Grand Line. Yeah. Um, so this was like a monumental moment. But outside of the Laboon thing... I didn't, you know, the other guy that uh, Vivi was, uh, you know, rolling around with. I mean, I, 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 I you know, it, it, this arc just has Laboon going for it. I mean, that's why Laboon's in this little thumbnail thing, even in this little image right here. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, outside of Laboon. Star. Outside of Laboon, I, I don't really know. Would you say C? No, I mean, I would say B. B? Mm. I would say B. I would still put it above Little Garden. 
Yeah, I mean, the only the part that I really did enjoy about Little Garden was just Usopp's kind of revelation of yeah. what he wanted to be um, based off of these guys. But yeah, I would keep it at C. Um, yeah. Then we got Romance Dawn. Romance Dawn, the start of it all. I mean, yeah. Uh, look, I mean, you you might think out of respect, you know, you might want to put it S <laughs> just because it's it's what it's what started everything. Um However, it was a fantastic start. Yeah. Um, But again, if you're comparing it to all these other things, I mean, I got to give respect where respect is due. um, But at the same time, what the story becomes and what what stories it's Mm. able to tell, what it's able to tell and what he's what he's able to say. Mm. Uh, Well, I mean, remember, this is where we get to meet like Zorro, Kobe, Hemlep. (laughs) Helmepo, <laughs> Helmepo, um, and uh, it, it really was. It, it really was, you know, his, you know, pretty much his introduction. So, um, hmm. I would put it. Uh, I mean, don't come at me, but I might put it B to be honest. Uh, Where were you thinking? What were you thinking? I was kind of thinking B too. You're thinking B. Yeah. I mean, look. I mean, we got. I, mean, I put it on the same, like, because you know we're here with Don Krieg, um, yeah, Barrett Tabe, you know, whatever was was super sick. Um, but this is all like an era. This is like kind of like the you know the the beginning, the beginnings, of, everything of is One crazy. Piece. Because compared to everything else that happens, like it just gets so much crazier. Yeah. So now we're on a Sabote. Woo! Um, I mean, honestly. Sabote might Sabody be. was crazy. Sabody, S for Sabote. S, S for Sabote, dude. Yeah. Sab- Sabote, I mean, look, we met the worst generation. We met Eustace Kid. We met, you know, Trafalgar Law. Mm-hmm. Um, Trafalgar Law. Your it's fave. so hard for me to say Your his name. Fave. Um, him. We met, uh, you know, Ray Lee for the first time. Mm-hmm. This is when we saw and understood the Celestial Dragons, Return of Hachi, like mm-hmm. so much lore. We find out that Ray Lee was the, you know, uh, the, 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 you know, basically uh, Gold Rogers, like right hand man, like yeah. and we're finding out, you know, how connected the world is and how how big and what are what what are some other like bigger themes that this yeah. uh, story is tackling? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it isn't I mean, it is a lot of, you know, government. But what other things do they have their like grubby little hands on like slavery? I mean, racism. I mean, the list goes on and this is at full display. Like this was the arc that was shocking at like what Oda was doing and like a lot of the characters were saying some crazy shit yeah. uh, about like torturing people and like slave ownership and yep. like just like crazy and even you know the ending of Sabote too was just like wild I mean yeah you know and, and seeing that, uh, that panel of all the captains coming out together you yeah. know Law, Kid, Luffy I mean so epic Kuma that's where the the whole Kuma incident happened Kuma blipped everybody away that moment s and now that i'm seeing it now that it's starting to take shape arlong park has got to go to a yeah there's I agree. no way arlong park competes with with these arcs now this i don't know what this is and it's a for arlong i can't there's no caption I probably don't. syrup village probably let me look does um, it have Usap on it i can't see we're sorry uh we're i'm sorry yeah it's it's not a caption okay let me see let me see because we um, haven't done like again like this is weird like skypea oh no syrup village would be the one uh next to it um oh this is skypea i think right oh okay uh let me see okay yeah this is skypea sick yeah for sure okay uh okay so skypea is on here mm-hmm Look, man, again, Sky Pio is an arc that, that people might rank low, but I had a great time here. This was the first time I felt the scale. Okay, they're in yeah. the sky. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 Pia. yeah. Oh. And, and they. Period. Pia, period. period. That was bad. Inel, Inaru. Um, oh, yeah. Th- that whole thing. I mean, again, we're, I mean, this giant battle in the heavens in the mm-hmm. sky i mean this man going to the freaking moon like there's space pirates up there like what um and this was the ar- archaeo like archaeology um this was you know i mean this was like really starting to to get a better idea of like pong glyphs too mm-hmm. like robin really starting mm-hmm. to look for pong glyphs. i think she she even like 
deciphered or, 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 you know, understood that like gold Roger had like Goldie Roger had like carved something in one. Um, again, that relationship, the relationship between, um, you know, uh, 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 the residents of Skypea and then, you know, Nolan from Jaya and just that whole thing. Like, I don't know. This was, this was, this was lit. This was, this yeah. was super lit. I, I'm not going to give it, it's not an S tier necessarily, but uh, also, we're learning about dials and stuff here that becomes so much more important later on. Um, uh, yeah. And I think we got Bon Voyage as the bon OP. Voyage. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken. Bon Voyage. Yeah, it's a banger. See, I, I think, forget. But. I think people say that Skype might, you know, maybe it just didn't feel like it didn't hit them as much. It didn't hit. Mm. But, you know, so many interesting concept, concepts are really introduced here. Um, and yeah, I, 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 oh, this is where we get like the Klebotterman too. Like the first, like kind of like thing uh, appearance of that kind of even the first appearance of hockey with mantra. Yeah. I mean, we didn't even know. That's what I'm saying. They introduced <laughs> so many concepts here yeah. that become so important later. So it's definitely not S for Skype. Yeah. Sorry. A um, for right now. A but for right now. Mm -hmm. A for right now. A now I believe this is syrup village with this guy right here. I forget his name. I do like him uh, and, and, and like character design. I remember when I would uh, when I was a kid and all I had access to at the time was the four kids dub. Uh, I remember, uh, you know, Syrup Village yeah, Syrup was Village. on all the time. You know, it was just like on repeat. I mean, and I loved this guy at that time when I was a kid. I was like, this guy's freaking awesome. He freaking <laughs> rules, dude. Like he's got he's like a cat, but he's got like nails, like yeah. a finger. He's like Freddy Krueger, but like way sicker and not like sus. You do love Freddy Krueger though. Let's not. No, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. You've said it multiple times. As a horror, like villain, like villains do okay. fucking, you know, uh, you know, bad shit. And I don't condone, condone it, but like as a horror you villain, like it. he's better than freaking, he's better than freaking Michael Myers. I'll tell you that right now. I would take Michael Myers he's, over Freddy okay, what do you the mean molester. Take, what do you mean take him? You know what I mean? Like, also, you know what I mean? Uh, look, I mean, look, I'm not saying I'm going to go to freaking court with him. I'm not going to stand in the freaking courthouse and I'm just going to defend him. I'm not going to be his lawyer and just be like, you know what? Uh, you know, you need to let this man free. I mean, lock him up. But, you know, I'm just saying in terms of like, you know, supernatural, like he's in your dreams. Like that's freaking scary. That's sick. That's a dope concept. Better than freaking Jason. Freaking Jason, dude. That's a sob story. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you, Jason. I really am. But like, you know, try being burned alive. Okay. Yeah. Because you were a pedophile. And anyway, let's just say, um, let's just say that it was heavily implied in the, in the original nightmare like, on Elm street, but it wasn't explicitly stated. And I'm not, again, I'm not defending Freddy Krueger. You let's sound say, like you are. I'm not. I'm just saying it's an interesting concept and a cool I idea for a movie and a horror villain. Anyway. I Really? B. People gave. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. People gave us a lot of shit. I mean, they continue to give us a lot of shit for like enjoying Syrup Village as much as we do, um, because oh my god! I mean, Usopp's again. Introduction all the to Usopp. I yeah. loved it. It made me cry. This was the first time I like really cried in One Piece. Like, it was so emotional. And again, this is just like a foo, like. His dad is like left to be a pirate. He wants to be a pirate, but I don't know if he ever would have by himself and like meeting Luffy, like, you know, he was scared and, 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 you know, he continued to be scared for a little bit, uh, for a while actually. Um, but we get to see him like finally, you know, uh, want to achieve his dream. Like it was, it was really good. It was great. I really but liked compared it. to everything I else, know. I'm putting it cause we meet Zoro. We <sighs> meet, um, Sanji. We meet, you know, Laboon. I mean, these are all, B. B, B's a cool place to be. Yeah. Yeah. B's a cool place to be. And that's what my parents used to tell me on my report card. I mean, yeah, that B's dope. B's solid. Yeah. B's, C's are solid. C's get degrees. Yeah. I mean, what? yeah. C's get degrees. Um, Thriller Bark. Thriller Bark. I absolutely loved Thriller Me Bark. Me too. I got to put it at A though. No, I do too. And I'll tell you why really quick. It's just because it was such a change of like what felt like aesthetic for, yeah. for, for One Piece. It was doing horror. It was doing zombies. It was doing gothic. It was giving. It was like Nightmare Luffy. Like, you know, all of the and Moria and Absalom, like, you know, aren't great, but 
I mean, I really they did. They were some of the best villains. Uh, I mean, in that, terms of like giving them a challenge, maybe yeah. up until that point. I would say that. And also just like interesting. Yeah. I mean, it was, it, I, I actually really enjoyed it. And I think Brooke's backstory hit me so hard. Uh, uh, Binks brew, Binks sake, whatever you watch. Yo, yo, ho, 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 yo, yo, ho, 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 love it. Love it. Love it. Got it on repeat. Dude, I got trap mix, trap remixes. He really does. And I freaking blast them. He really does. I'm going going crazy, dude. I I loved everything about um, meeting Brooke (laughs) and his backstory and his connection to Laboon. I'll give it an A. I'll give Thriller Bark an A. A. Water seven S, S baby. What Water seven you know? the conflict the conflict with Usopp and, and Luffy. I mean, you're talking that Bro, out of the- that shit came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like nowhere. And it didn't come out I mean, I say it came out of nowhere because we're like, dude, this is wild. But like there were just little glimmers of this with Usopp. And honestly, like and truly, like the going Mary, like we got a great comment that said like Usopp saw himself as the Mary. Because if he were to go out in a way or like be injured or anything, like they would kind of be like, okay, maybe Usabi shouldn't come along with us wow. anymore. Maybe if they threw him out, like they did the Mary because she was, she was, she had on her last leg. She had to go, but she did a good job for them. And he saw himself in the ship. And I was like, damn, that makes a lot of sense. Like, damn, it was wild. I cried so much because that's like, I mean, you look at Zoro, you look at Sanji with Luffy, their dynamic, but like Usopp and Luffy, like mm. they're the goofiest motherfuckers on the ship, uh, aside from Chopper. Um, and they're like brothers, like they're the closest to brothers, I think, than anyone else on the ship, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, but yeah, it was it was uh, intense. It, it, it deserves to be S tier for that alone on top of uh everything. Gali La, Frankie, you know, like Gali La. everything. Like this is this is the S the Essiest of S tiers. It's S for <laughs> it's S for super oh! Hell yeah. Um and last but not least, I think this is Baroque. Works. I think no, it's whiskey. Oh whiskey peak. Yeah, let me double check Whiskey on Peak. that. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm, I'm, I think I'm a hundred percent. Whiskey Peak. Um, uh, unless I'm like forgetting, cause uh, I'll put this at, I'll put yeah, this at Whiskey C, Peak. To be honest, like unless I'm forgetting something like major, uh, happening. Yeah, it's Whiskey. Uh, Whiskey Peak. If I'm forgetting something major, like yeah, we meet. Um. You know, the Baroque work members and stuff. Yeah, and I think this and is... And the booger guy and the... Yeah, let me see. There was some um, cool fights. Do, 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 whiskey Peak, Whiskey Peak. But I mean... Yeah, so Mr. Nine and Miss Wednesday. Yeah. Which was, I think, Vivi, correct? Or no? What was oh, Well, her? Vivi fought them. And, yeah, you know, yeah. Vivi, you whiskey know. Peak, for sure. Um, I mean, it's not a bad arc. Like, it's really not. But I, I, if, you know, um, if I had to put another thing at sea... I, I, I would I can because a uh, little garden can't be there all by itself. Uh, I, 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 do you know what I mean? OK, let me look at this for real. <laughs> introduction of buggy introduction, you know, to, to like that was kind of Nami's introduction. I'm looking at everything on B. Yeah. Laboon. Like all that seems like it deserves to kind of be there. Even Logtown introduction of dragon, you know, that moment with Ace and the Vivery mm. card. Uh, Start village, actually. Um, yeah, I, I'll put it C. I'll put it C. Wow, see, you know, or or B for Baroque works, okay, uh, even though it is Whiskey Peak. Yeah. But I mean, like, I just feel like nothing crazy really popped off here. But how do you feel? I kind of agree. I mean, you get to see Vivi shine, I mean, in Alabasta way more than you mm-hmm. get to see her shine here. Um, that would be like the only really thing holding me, um, to this arc. Um, but I, I, w- I would agree with, with the rankings that we have now, actually. I mean, looking at this list, like, it does remind me at how good all of the A tier is, how good all of the S tier is. And B is great in its own way. And I'm sure rereading it, you know, when we eventually do or, like, personally or for anything, um, if we do reread it, it would have so much more weight obviously because that's just how this story works it's like every you know the chapter before means so much more now that you're in you know 
the next seven chapters it's just how it is um but i i would put it at c um, zoro had a badass moment his uh like the joke with him and luffy going back and forth um you know about them having their own fight and then the villains were like what about us i mean it was funny it was good i mean you got to understand we're talking about freaking one piece here it's 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 bomb dude it's it's good it's bomb um but i can't leave little garden uh by its little old self so i see what um, you did there and actually i know we said that we oh, i see what you did there i had to catch you because you almost didn't get I it i didn't um <laughs> you know i said we would move this around a lot let's just do one final kind of look okay. over but i really do but think I, I'm, I, I'm I, agree. I agree i agree i agree i agree it was just moving arlong park that kind of like made uh -huh. it feel more balanced uh -huh. to me but any lobby we also you know forgot to mention i mean that's ohara that's like you know robin's backstory that's s Everything that's at S, S for sure. I, Alabasta A, Amazon Lily A, Drum Island A. Uh, yeah, I mean this this to me. I mean, okay, would you move anything up from B to mm -hmm. A? Mm -hmm. I mean, I really do like Sierra Village a lot. Um, Maybe because again, I had just you know seen it so many times on on, on like on uh, repeat reruns on four kids but that's the thing for me like, like i said like i will put every honestly i think the the worst character introduction for me just because i think he might be my least favorite on the team oh save it oh because we're gonna be ranking him. yeah yeah we're gonna okay. be ranking him but every i'm just gonna say everything deserves to be where it is i i, I think so too I'm and happy. come at us um so this put is it up. this is our uh final Final ranking of the pre time skip arc. I would say that everything would. I think everything lines up except for maybe Alabasta not being an S. I think for I, most I, people, but that is our the, opinion. Yeah, that's our, our opinion. opinion. Exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it for our rankings. We are not done with rankings uh -uh. yet, though. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. Like going through it and talking through yeah. everything. I mean, One Piece is an amazing, amazing, amazing series. And even the things we put at sea, like I said, it's One Piece. Uh, it, I'm comparing it to itself. We're comparing it to itself. Um, it's still great. Every arc is so much fun. Um, this is going to be hard, though. This is going to be probably harder than ranking arcs. Um, ranking straw hats. Um, I think I've been not really thinking about it but i think once i look at them i'll be like oh yeah yeah i uh, i got it i i don't know i i don't i don't know I, i'm kind of uh, panicking a little bit but uh <laughs> i guess uh let's just let's just get to it and uh start ranking those straw hats huh here we are at uh our straw hat tier list um we're gonna do separate ones mm -hmm. for this so megan do you want to go first do you want me to go first Rock, paper, scissors? Uh, okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, you win, so you decide. Do you want me to go first? I'll go first. Okay. I feel like you need a little bit more time to, to soothe your soul. I'm panicking. Yeah. All right, Luffy. All right. <laughs> Luffy, where are you putting Luffy? Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. And yeah, this is pre-time skip, pre obviously. Pre-time skip. All right, so right off the bat, uh, starting with Luffy, um, I would put him, <laughs> everyone else, <laughs> um, no, uh, shooty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You were real um, confident. I really was. And now we came to Luffy and, um, <sighs> come on. Okay. After honestly, literally, honestly, and yeah, truly, this is my honest answer. D. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, this is my for, honest answer. For the will of the D. For will of the D, I have to put him in D. Um, after post war arc, mm -hmm. yeah, my heart opened up to Luffy way more than it ever has in One Piece at all. Um, I felt like this was like not like a. I was seeing development and growth from him for sure. I mean, over all that we've read, and I know that he has changed a lot, and just that arc alone gave me like a glimpse into what he has gone through and like his mentality when it comes to his friends and family and it really did make me like luffy a lot more so um what's it gonna be he's the captain um all aboard the ss 
S S thousand sunny. Thousand sunny. Because Luffy gets an S. I love it. Uh, Zoro. D. Come on. Because you, uh, you know, because you, when you think of Zoro, you think of D. I mean, um, that that figure yeah, is yeah, that erect wild. figure wild. It's in my dreams. Um, honestly and truly, he is my least favorite straw hat. Wow, least favorite straw hat. Wow, I love That's him. So for, disrespectful. I love him for different reasons. Oh my god! But I would say that me, him and Sanji are kind of tied. Like, wow. honestly and truly, I love them both for different reasons, but they have to be my least. Out of everyone, are you kidding me? Okay, where are you putting him? I got to put him in a C. Okay, this is your list. People, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Nami. Nami. S. S for Nami. A Not for Nami. A for Nami. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. I love Nami, but A for Nami. Okay. Usopp S. Usopp S. Okay. Sanji C. Sanji down here. And this makes sense that they'd be together. Yeah. Chopper C. I mean, A. I mean, S, <laughs> S, 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 sorry. S, S, S. I was like, what? Um, Robin S. Robin S? <laughs> For real? <laughs> Frankie S. Frankie S? <laughs> Brooke S. <laughs> Brooke S? For real? Are you, are you being serious? Are you being serious? <laughs> Hold on. Let me reevaluate. Yeah, you got to reevaluate. These are my favorites, though. Um, okay, so I would, okay, just to be nice, I mean, I'll put Sanji in Zoro. I'll put Sanji, mm, mm. Yeah, come on. Think about it. Okay, take okay, a second. Okay, okay, okay. Take a second. Don't take too long, but take a second. I will put Zoro in B. Okay. 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 Leave Sanji in C. Okay. Okay. Um, you, I, I feel would like move, there's a lot of S. Right I know. Here. I would move Brooke to A. Okay. Okay. And I'd put Nami in S. Whoa, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. Any final? This is hard. This is harder yeah. than the, the arcs. I knew it was going to be, and you came in yeah. cocky. Like, I got um, it. I got it. Hmm. I mean, Chopper's got to stay there. Of course. I mean, I love everyone in S. Like, everyone in okay. S is like, they're all okay. I mean, okay, that's the thing though. We're talking about like, is it to your heart or is it to like the the crew? You know, like that's what to we're, your heart to my heart. Then Are I, these all S's on the same level? Are they all equal in your heart? Is Chopper equal to Robin? Is Chopper because I'm using Chopper as like, you know, uh, the what do you call it? The, uh, uh, the ceiling. The, yeah, yeah. Is uh, um, Chopper like equal to Nami to Usopp to Luffy? Come on. It's hard, but we got to do it. The people, their hearts are racing. Okay. I would put maybe. Oh, that's a thing. And, and, you know, think out loud. I do love them. And it's, it's like, I don't want to have like half of them in S. Like, it's but. okay if you do. This is your list. Do what you do what you want to do. Follow your heart. But give us your okay. thought process. I love Brooke, but I, I loved his backstory. Uh, I feel like I haven't had maybe not enough time with him. I feel like I'm more attached to Frankie than I am to Brooke at this point. Okay. So I have to put him there. I do love Nami, but mm, over Robin? Yeah, or Robin. I might and Nami have to the... put her out of A, put her back to A. Okay. Love her, but. Okay. Okay. See, now we're working with, I think, something that's a little more fair. Yeah. Usopp's got to stay at S just because Usopp, he's Usopp, Chopper, goat. I feel like, you know. He's the goat. I mean, most people will be like, why would you put Chopper? It's like, doesn't really make sense. Um, but again, just like Usopp, like he has been growing. He's been trying to be more useful to the team. He is super useful. And after this time skip, I can guarantee this boy is going to know how to heal. Okay. He's going to come back charged and ready to go <clears throat> oh for sure and um i just yeah i mean he's are you locking this in then are you locking is this your final I'm locking it your final answer this is good i like this what um, do you it, think it, it's very it's very you i mean it's very megan uh i i, I you know i, I don't want to say too much because i don't want to reveal what my ranking <laughs> is going to be um but uh there we are this is megan's straw hat 
ranking. Like if I could literally just have the S on my crew, like I could, I, I would be, that, I mean, come on. Now, like, come on. Reset uh, onto mine. And I'm going to just go through quickly, mm. explain a little of my logic. Luffy S, no questions asked. This man is everything I want to be. This man <laughs> embodies um, my, my spirit um, and just my, my outlook on life. Mm. You know, he is the living embodiment of just of, of what, I, what I strive to be. Mm. Um, love this man. Love this man. He was one of my top protagonists. Uh, in our in our protagonist yeah. um, video, <clears throat> S, no questions asked. Now let's get on to the Zoro thing, and now we can talk a little bit more about this. Um, I understand why you're why you're saying that he might be one of your. Uh, well, it, it it turns out that Sanji was your least favorite. Yeah, it, it turns out. Yeah, I mean, I, I I like Sanji, but honestly and truly, Zoro goes over Sanji for sure. I'm putting Zoro, and I know this is going to be you know crazy i'm putting zoro at a because i like okay because he yeah. is he is um you know again he is there to to help luffy become and keep him remind him of what a captain should be uh he is also somebody when you know when you talk about dreams he is also somebody that i think you know, matches Luffy's intensity mm. uh, to to uh, strive and achieve. You know mm -hmm. his goal and dream, and to work. You know as hard. I, you know that that moment with him and Kuma. I mean, uh, nothing happens where nothing happened. Mm -hmm. um, such a powerful moment, just really showcasing what he's willing to do for his captain, um, and 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 um, just who he is as a man. Again, to go back to you know him bowing down to Mihawk to put his, to put again uh, back to um, uh, the end of uh, what is it? It's thr thriller bark, right? Uh, yeah. The end of thriller bark with, um, you know, him being putting his dream like on the line to yeah. sacrificing yeah. You know, his dream, putting, putting others in front of himself. I understand why you're, you're, you're inclined to like, he's not, you know, uh, he, w he doesn't jump out as much to you. Everything you said were great reasons why Zoro would be higher obviously on the list I just I, I don't know like I know that he is a part of the straw hats he's done so much for them he fights you know he trains but honestly like the literally like him doing that and like striving to have Lu pushing Luffy to do all those things like like Jinbei like Jinbei's speech to Luffy like that man yeah, I just felt way more like yeah. way more in my heart to hear this man speak yeah. like I don't know. I just felt Jinbei's. I think been through more. Um, yeah. Even though we don't know uh, what all that might be, um, I just feel like Jinbei's wise, and mm. and and I think that Zoro is is just trying to like Zoro is is also Zoro Zoro just knows what needs to be done mm. and is going to remind Luffy what that is. And, you know, what needs to happen. I mean, that whole moment with him and Usopp when he's telling him, like, mm. do not let him come back unless this happens. Like yeah. the Kuma moment. I mean, the Mihawk moment. I mean, Zoro, A for me. Okay. Nami, on the other hand, uh, I S. love Nami. I love Nami. I'm debating whether to put Nami in an A or a B. Um, I, I like, you know, and again, we're not talking about functionality on the crew. She's the navigator. You know, she's obviously um, the one who has gotten them as far as, as they, they got up until, a, up until a certain point. Um, she's very capable. I love her personality, her, her quirks, her, the, the, you know, just her, her love of berries and, and everything is so funny and loot and treasure. Um, she's just capable, smart. Her backstory was one of my favorites. Um, you know, it just does seem like with a lot of these characters, some of them end up, kind, and again, a lot of them have been, a lot of the strides have been out of the picture for a while, since yeah. Marine Ford, since, uh, since Saboti, actually, the end of Saboti. Mm -hmm. But, you know, even up until that, like, you know, and Nami was, I don't know, I just feel like Nami was, was she was very um, important, and she still is, but it did feel like a lot of, like, she did kind of fall to the, to the back 
um, as as it went on. I mean, you say that, but I mean, also we get you know the weather baton, like we get but her kicking. That came from Usopp. That came from Usopp. But she. Yeah, yeah, couldn't but, use it that way unless she she's the one who gave it that. Yeah, use. yeah, yeah, yeah. And she she's been kicking ass. I mean, she she's has. she's really awesome. And Her Kage Bunshin, you know, shadow clone. Yeah. Thing with, uh, Khalifa. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fire. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I it's, mean, it, is she on the same level as Zoro, you think? That's where it gets tricky. Mm. Don't come at me. Lu uh, Ooh. Nami might for change. berries. Yeah, for berries. Nami might change. <laughs> but right now, Nami is a, a beat. Dang. Nami might change. Usopp, I have to agree. The, yes. the Soge King. Are you kidding? S for Soge King. S for Soge King. This um, man is fire. He's a king. Uh, and he is, again, someone who is competing with these literal like monsters. These, yeah. these superhuman people. Uh, and, you know, his drive and his just his desire to really um, achieve his goal, too. Mm -hmm. And that he you know works so hard to keep up. And never loses uh, spirit and fights so hard too for things like the Mary and uh, and again like I you know I I, I love Usopp I I love him I love him I love him clearly He's, I mean yeah so gay king <laughs> rep um, Sanji you know what. I remember when we first started, you I were know. like, Sanji's my king, Sanji's a goat. And then as we started reading it, I was like, this is your guy? I mean, no hate to Sanji. He is cool. I've heard some things going forward into what we're going to be reading soon of Sanji that are kind of like, okay. And again, in Thriller Bark, it was a little sussy, but uh, I would say Sanji for sure would be the least in my list. It uh, was the least in my I, list. And, and that's exactly what I was uh, going to say. When we started Sanji in my memory as a kid, and again, people give me shit for the four kids dub all the time, but as a kid, as a young kid, before I, mean, I had four access. Kids. It was four kids. Literally, yeah. thank you, Megan. It was four fucking kids. Yeah, was and I was a fucking kid. Uh, but um, before I, I watched the, the, uh, the other dub or had access or even was aware of the sub yeah, yeah. or the manga even i mean i was that young when i was watching it For real? I, I um i uh i loved sanji's voice actor hey nami get over here is always what i'll say um and uh you know i remember as a kid like liking this character a lot thinking he was so cool and it was more about his swagger than it was anything else uh, again in the four kids today we had a lollipop instead of a cigarette but i even thought that looked cool as a kid i was like this guy's dope mm -hmm. suited suited up fitted up you know lollipop swag um, and then revisiting it and reading it as an, Simpy. Yeah, as an older, uh, guy, not going to say how old exactly, but older. as an older guy, mm -hmm. um, yeah, little, <laughs> little on the simpy side. Um, and, um, love Sanji, um, Sanji, Sanji, you know, again, I love, I love uh, cooks. I love just the idea of, I mean, I I I, I love backstory. cooking. I love co Josh's kitchen. Hello, yeah. um, I love the Food Network. His backstory, Sanji's great. But, but uh, out of out of these out of this crew, if I'm if I'm ranking <gasps> all so of them, so C too, huh? For now, this I wouldn't might, put him D. Like I'm not gonna put anyone D. You know. And and uh, you're you're not gonna like this, but um, Chopper. Are you joking? Look, uh, let me just really like, are quickly. You, are you going to do that? You're doing this now? No, no. Re relax. It's not going to be as bad as you think. Chopper is so cute. Chopper is, is I agree, just like, <laughs> you know, the mascot in a lot of ways for One Piece. I love him. My biggest issue, and I hope this changes going forward in the new world, is that he is so underutilized and feels so underutilized. That's why I have to utilize him. That's why I have yeah. to put him in S. Um, he's and, gonna get the shiny deserves and you know just being a zone type devil fruit user and seeing all the things he's able to do being a doctor I just want to see Chopper do more I want to see him in action uh, I love him he, he has my heart uh, but I had to put Chopper at B Chopper at B he's on, he's on Nami level he's on Nami level um, Nico Robin S <clears throat> if I had to say, if I am I a uh, uh, Nami girl or Nami no. guy, <laughs> am I a Nami girl or a Robin or a Robin guy? I got to say Robin. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, she's 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 a mature woman. She's mature. She she's, knows what she wants. She's overpowered as fuck. She's overpowered as all hell. She's sexy, sexy. She's and, and Nami's sexy, too. Yeah. But 
Yeah, but Rob has just got that air, you know. She's got, I mean, she got years on Nami. Yes. She got years on Nami. Her backstory is... Uh, one of the goatiest. Yeah, I one mean, of the goatiest, uh, one of the saddest. Pong glyphs. I mean, she's trying to, she's trying to, you know... She's trying to find out what happened in the vo the void of history. And she is so, like, kind. I mean, ev after everything that she's went through, you think she... I mean, obviously, there was a time where she was super jaded, but she just, like, opened her heart and is I so kind put, to everyone. I can't... I, I want to put S, but I can't put her above Zoro. I just really can't. I, I, I can't. Wow! I want to put her and Zoro same level. Um, oh, now you're my shocking. I, okay, my guy goes S. Yeah, and you're my about Brooke goes, S too. S. I don't know where Brooke's gonna fall. Um, my guy Frankie goes S. And, and I, look, Robin, wow, no women in your S tier. Okay, dude. Okay, uh, that's cool. Come at me, come at me. Um, I, uh, I, I, I love Frankie. I, I just, I always, I've always loved um everything about him. I think he is. Again, when we talk about like, you know, and it's funny because you mentioned this off mic in in uh, in universe. And I go, I know it's a joke, but everybody calls Frankie a, a pervert because he, he wears uh, underwear instead yeah. of pants and he owns it and he has fun with it. But this man, I mean, there would there would be no thousand sunny without him. I don't know where the straw hats would be, what kind of ship they would even be on. They wouldn't be on the, the sunny. I'll tell you that much. And I don't know how far whatever ship they would have got would have taken them. Mm hmm. Not only did he does he build that, I mean, he goes above and beyond. This is a man that, again, is sentimental when he, again, empathetic. When he hears people's stories, he is he is a man's man. Yeah, he is. He is. He is more than man. Um, <laughs> and, 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 you know, he he's is a still, cryborg. He's a cryborg. And he's still not ashamed to show his emotions. He is also, uh, you know, expressive. And he's he's a. Uh, He's willing to be funny and dance and willing to be badass and get shit done. Um, uh, he's also someone who is keeping up with with all these. Again, uh, I know I know a lot of uh, the straw hats like Sanji and, and Zoro and Nami and uh, uh, Usopp aren't devil fruit users, but they fight a lot of devil fruit users. Mm -hmm. um, and Frankie is another one who's technically uh, even as modded as he is. He is not a devil fruit user and he's going toe to toe with these guys. He's so badass. He's so empathetic. He's so funny. He, if anybody's a pervert, obviously it's freaking Sanji compared to I mean, and Brooke and Brooke compared be, to he might be the most non pervious character pervy character yeah. in this whole thing. I mean, obviously Chopper is a baby, um, but yeah, people call him a pervert all the time, and I'm like, sorry, he's just trying to show off what he can. Like this man is confident, yeah, and this man is he's an goated. engineer too. He's a man that knows how to use his fucking hands, dude. He's going to he's if he if it doesn't exist, he's going to make it. He's going to make it. He's going to he's going to use the materials that he has to make it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I just I just got so much respect for his ingenuity. He's my he's smart as fuck too to be making all this shit. No, he is. Someone, so said, smart. someone said in the comments like he must have had like surgical knowledge in order to That's what I'm saying. change like, his body. That's like so he's like he has engineering skills, but also like doctor like surgeon that's what I'm uh, saying. capabilities like uh, this information like yeah he's goaded for sure um i am so excited i mean i don't know how much it's already happening but like usopp and frankie like going in like the workshop and like working out details like he's gonna learn so much from frankie even before they met like usopp was goaded making shit yeah. out of thin air he had the dials but he was doing it like we talk about that shit too like oh nami like without the weather baton, like, yeah, Usopp made that shit. Yeah, um, and like wild, wild. And I do think that like uh, seeing Frankie and Usopp, you know, even like working together, or just the potential <laughs> that they have to like kind of bounce off each other. Uh, a, a ship needs a shipwright, and uh, Frankie will treat your shipwright. Treat you and your shipwright. Um, so Frankie's got to be S for yeah. ship for shipwright for super. Um. And this yeah. is where I'm. This is where things get so fucking confusing, and this is where <laughs> things. This is where things are going to be thrown for a loop. Um, Brooke is going to fuck everything up right now, because Brooke can't be S. Why? Um, I love you saw my list. I didn't give Brooke. a. I know, and this is heart. Yeah, this is heart. You're right. It is heart. Yeah, you can't be. Because mm, Brooke has got my heart, but is he? Does he have my heart? You know. Hmm. 
This is this is I can't, I mean like I would be so content with this being what it is, but Brooke <laughs> fucks it all up. Um, I know Brooke goes above uh, Sanji. Sanji. I mean, he kind of is, you know. Okay. Mm. I mean, what I what I put see, like how much joy you think does he bring you? I mean, I'll put. I gotta put Brooke A. a. I gotta put Brooke A. Uh, and and. <sighs> Yeah, these two, I mean, really, I, I mean, if I really, I mean, this is like, <laughs> this is what I want to do right here, you know, um, yeah. this is what I want to do. Um, I mean, I might have just like changed everything because am I going to really put Sanji at a C? I did. I know. And I, I know. I did. I mean, um, like <sighs> these people. Okay. So let me see if I can move. Would I move Robin up to an S then? Would I put her over Zoro? Mm, I, I don't know that I put her over Zoro. This is my list. This is it. Right here. Um, this is hard. I did some last minute switch ups. Um, my S's are S's and that is not changing. <laughs> and I, you know, I, I, I couldn't put Robin on an, on an S. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, but but I, I love Nami and I can't even say that I love Robin more than Nami. Love Zoro. Um, this is my list. I'm very happy with this with this list. That stressed me the fuck out. And I made last minute changes. Thank you so much. So <laughs> that is it for our straw hat ranking. Very and intense. Again, this is a pre-time skip ranking. Uh, eventually we will do a post. post time skip ranking, and that'll be super fun. That'll because- be fun. You know, things can change. And we'll be looking back at this clip and be like, ha, ha, ha. We didn't Where know we anything. Did, yeah, we didn't know shit. Um, and so. of course, obviously, this is, these are our opinions, too. This is our feelings, our hearts. Yeah. And let us know what you think about our list. Yeah, for real. Let Good us know. Good or bad. Yeah. Give us your thoughts on our list, too. You can do that. You can have opinions about our list, too. Yeah. Um, but they are our opinions and, and our hearts. Yeah, um, just don't be too mean. Mm, yeah, you, a, little, a, little, a little jab, a little roast is yeah, okay, Yeah, a little though. roast is fine, but... All right, before we go on for too, too long, um, I think this is going to be fun. Um, we are, and again, you're going to want to stay for that done piece, that new done <gasps> yeah, piece. Yeah, um, it's so cute, you guys. Like, fuck, art it's so preview. cute. Um, so what I'll probably end up showing you is um, just the line art, not the final, res- the, the, not the final product. That'll premiere in the, um, in the first episode of, uh, of the new world, but at least you'll get to see the line art, and I'll give you a really good idea. And uh, we can kind of give you some of our, our, uh, our thought process behind it, too. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but we are moving on now. We are definitely not going to have time for... Uh, there, was another, there was another tier list that said, like, ranking your favorite uh, pre-time skip straw... Uh, not straw hats, but One Piece characters. characters. So many. Like Too many. It took up the whole screen. <laughs> took up the whole screen. It took six hours to do that. Um, so we will do... What One Piece character are you? Uh, and we can, we can do the, the pirate crew thing, because that's just... We got to enter in just our name. So we'll do what One Piece character are you? I'll go first. I'll try to speed through it um, so that... Uh, I think that might be the... Let me see. Oh, yeah. That's a little quiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the yeah, little yeah. quiz. Mm-hmm. I'll try to speed through it. So it's that, only six questions. Yeah, so that you can have a little more time to explain um, you know, your thought processes behind everything. And you went first last time, so I'll go first this time. Okay. Okay. This is the quiz. Um, what One Piece anime character are you? I'll speed through it. Uh, I'll go through mine really quick. Um, how would you fight? Kick them, punch them, use a sword, strangle them, use a cool staff, use a gun. Uh, I would use a cool staff. I'm just going off, off instinct. Okay, I'm not even taking time to really think about it. I'm doing instinct. If you use a devil fruit, what power <laughs> would you have? I don't use a devil fruit. I would stretch. I'd grow arms. Okay, I will return after I die. Oh, you're just telling me to be a straw hat. You're just telling, you're just telling me, hey, which straw hat do you yeah, want to be? Yeah, I hate these. Uh, I would be able to talk i was an animal before okay yeah it was straight up um okay so um i guess uh, i i think out of all uh, i would grow arms i do think stretching is just more fun mm. um i'm gonna go stretch um what is a hobby you like to do the most <laughs> leading a group of people <laughs> mapping out places sleeping cooking being a doctor okay yeah this is hilarious Making I didn't up get this stories, far. Uh, fixing, inventing things, music, reading. 
I mean, fixing, I mean, I don't invent anything, but I like making things. Mm -hmm. and I like making up stories, too. Um, but, uh, you know, just uh, little fun little stories. Mm -hmm. But I would say, like, and when I say fixing, I'm not inventing shit, but, like, making the Sergei King mask mm -hmm. and making stuff like that, fixing things. Like, I do like that. I find that very therapeutic. So I'll pick that. Um, what do you like to eat or drink? Um, I'm the one cooking any good drink, anything. Yeah, literally anything. I mean, I am picky, but I'll, I'll find a way to eat it. Uh, what would you wear? Something tight, something loose. I'm not wearing anything. Uh, I mean, it depends. Like, I like a, I like a tighter fitting jean, but a looser fitting shirt. So I don't know. Uh, I would say maybe if I had to choose, I don't want to wear something tight. I mean, I guess loose, I guess. Um, what is a very offensive thing someone can say about you? They hate your hair. Whoa. Done. 100%. They think you look scary. They make fun of someone you love. Uh, they call you a pervert. They hate your hair. Uh, I oh! am Luffy. I am. Wow, you got the it. Captain. Um, Shocker. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, we'll <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. We'll reset this <laughs> and um, get it ready for you. Okay. And uh, we'll do it again. We'll see what uh, what character, what One Piece character you are. All right, Megan, you're up. Okay. What would, would you fight? fight? Um, I would probably strangle them. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I want to feel the hands. Um, Yikes. Too if much you use a devil fruit, what power would you have? I don't use a devil fruit. I would stretch or grow arms. I would return. I'd be able to talk. I would be able to talk. I was an animal before. Hmm. I mean, and don't, don't lead it to be chopper. I, would, I know you want to be chopper. I'll do, I'll do, I don't use a devil fruit. Oh, wow. Okay. What hobby do you like the most? Uh, do, 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 do. I like making up stories. I like writing things out. Um, and I like thinking of scenarios in my head a lot. So I'll do making up stories. Okay. They spelled stories wrong, I think. <laughs> yes, S-T-O-R-I-E-S. Yeah. Um, what would you like to eat or drink? Any good drink. Mm-hmm. We know that. <laughs> what would you wear? Uh, something tight, loose. I'm not wearing anything. Uh, something tight. Okay. What is very offensive thing someone can say about you? I hate your hair. They think you look scary. They make fun of someone you love. They call you a pervert. Um, they make fun of someone you love. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like that's you. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh! Whoa! We got who we wanted. Fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> that's wild. So, um, no further evidence needed. I am Luffy, and Megan is Robin. Okay, what no you heard and or butts about it. Okay. Um, there's one last thing we want to do, and that is, um. Megan, you basically found like a, and we'll pull it up and we'll go, uh, you know, more through it or explain it more. Mm -hmm. But it's basically a, a website where you can enter in your name and there will be, you know, links to, I, I'll try to include links to these things too if you yeah. want to do them yourself. Um, even though the, which One Piece character you yeah, are a little Yeah, maybe iffy. not that one. Um, but uh, you basically just enter in your name and it tells you what uh, crew you would be a part of. Like just, it mm -hmm. gives you kind of like, almost like a D&D &D character sheet uh, in, in One Piece kind of. Um, but let's check it out and let's see what it is all about. All right, here it is. Your, uh, at the top here, it says your character in one piece. Um, and then it just says, enter your name for diagnosis, your name diagnosed. Do we just have to put first name, uh, or do we have to put first name, last name? We can put first, it isn't, it doesn't matter. Um, but I'll do first name, last name. Okay. So you want to. M E. Yeah. Let's see per what <laughs> Megan Perona. <laughs> oh, all uh, right. Diagnose me, doc. Let's go. Diagnose me, choppy. Ooh. So here we got Megan Perrine. She's 19 years old in the That's world of, real of age. One Piece. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> freaking Korea over here. Stop. Uh, um, and uh okay, yeah go ahead go ahead read up, it so you you your let me look up the gonzok is, pirates maybe i can get a refresher if they're real i mean your personality is funny okay that's great that's good that's uh that 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 checks out that lines up gonzok pirates this looks like it's in the old the uh the old old uh maybe it's i i don't i don't know but that's your crew and you're stuck with them yeah it looks weird like uh comment below gonzok pirates possessed a massive 
Okay, now I'm just reading that off. Well, this is your crew and but you're stuck with them. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, personality funny, fighting style Tai Chi. Love it. Devil fruit and none. You said Damn that. Damn it. I did say that, but I kind of wish I got one. But you said that, so um, this lines, uh, lines I have up. the observation hockey. Oh. Island of Oregon package island. Island of origin. Okay, not Oregon. I didn't say <laughs> Oregon. I was just speaking fast. Island of Oregon. I'm from the island of Oregon. Portland <laughs> Island. Package Island. That's where I'm from, huh? <laughs> package Island. Uh, that's where I was born. Nothing but freaking packages walking around that island. But it makes sense you'd be there. Uh, it would make too. sense that I would be there. Yeah. Um, um, reason why your crew organization recruited you. Your parents owe a debt to the crew of bounty respect. Damn, that's a lot. Oh, yeah. my stats. You do got some strength. Ooh, I got style. Look at my style. It's fighting style. Chill. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Chill. Wow, not very powerful in the hockey department. My intelligence is so low. <laughs> wow, dude. Your intelligence is so low. Oh, my God. You're very durable and you're really strong and you're really fast. You're really fast and you're really, your fighting style is crazy. <laughs> You got a crazy fighting style. <laughs> oh, look, okay. This is everything we know about Megan Raid. Sign Fleet Admiral. Oh. Yeah, this is. This oh, is yeah, the, this he is, signed yeah, it. He signed it. Yeah, this is the it, yeah. Navy's uh, document, the Marines document. Wow. Um, for you. Uh, what a great diagnosis. Wow. Okay. All right. That's your you. turn. Let's do your boy. You nervous? Uh, yeah. Let's Josh see. Itch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Diagnose let's see. me, Choppy. 24. Now, see, that's my real age. Yeah, right. Okay. Fucking Karuha. Huh? <laughs> you just Does said it feel I, good, huh? Does it I feel said. good, huh? I am part of the Barto Club. Have no idea. Let me look it up again. Uh, what the Barto Club is. But uh, charismatic. I'll take it. I'll take it. Fighting style Jeet Kune Do. Sure. Uh, never heard of Jeet Kune Do, but. I'm I'm assuming it's powerful. Oh, I'm the cat cat fruit. Yay! Model Yay. lion. Model lion. Yes, dude. Yes. Uh, I have. Uh, this might be a spoiler. I don't know if we've heard of. Uh, oh no, we have heard of this one. Armament hockey and observation hockey. I got two. I'm proficient in Hell two. Hell yeah! I'm from Alubarna. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, reason why you, uh, your crew organized, uh, recruited you, your charisma. Oh. And I have a $6 million uh, bounty or berry bounty. Wow. Your charisma. That's cool. I'm pretty. So nothing about like a, like I had a like debt. You, you did this, liked you, huh? This is, I, this is lit, dude. Yeah. Um, I don't think we've met the Bartow club yet. Okay. Maybe. Well, jury's still out on them then. My strength, I'm strong. I'm I'm pretty strong. It says here. Uh, I'm not very durable. I'm I'm a, I'm smarter than you. Yeah, yeah. You, you're, you're higher. I mean, honestly, yeah. You you're you're I'm not better. The best fighter. You're a better fighter than I am, and you're faster than I am. I think, but I do have more hockey than you. I'll take this. This is everything we know about Josh Michael, signed Fleet Admiral Singoku. Wow, this is it. This is canon. This is canon. Six million berry bounty. This is canon. I'm happy. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Megan, for showing us that. Thank Welcome. you for sharing that with us. Uh, maybe it'll be different if I just put my first name. You know what you do? No. See, and this is what you do. Maybe Every time you do, if I even do if it's like a TikTok name. filter or, or something, you always do it like eight times. And that takes the, that takes the, like, you know, the charm out of it, the fun out of it. You know, you do it once and that's who you are. But you're the type of person who will do it over and over and over again until it. you get the person that you want. Okay, but I don't, I don't, I don't fake it. I don't say, oh my God, I got them on my first try. No, I know myself and I tell myself, you know what? I just want to see, I just, I want this for me. Is that so wrong? Okay, fine. Is um, that so wrong? I want my own happiness. Just be a little more honest with yourself. I am honest okay, with myself. Just, that's why I don't lie about getting it on the first try. I mean, maybe, I mean, look. I'm not here to judge. It's fine. I'm just here to report. I'm just here to expose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, that was cool. That was so much fun. Um, a lot of pressure. Um, before we wrap things up and, and show you the, the new done piece art, um, is there anything else you want to say? We're, we're getting ready to go into the new world. I'm sad. 
I'm really sad, you guys. Yeah. I'm really emotional, actually. Yeah, no, because I... Because I just know nothing will be the same and it'll just be different. And I mean, not in a bad way, but it is, like I said this before, it is emotional. I am so excited. Um, it's clear to me as we were doing that ranking list that just the, the, the story, these arcs get so much better. And I know they get longer um, based on what some people have told us, but I'm so here. I'm so ready. I'm, mm. I'm, I mean, to, to where it last left off and seeing where Luffy is now and all the straw hats where they're at now or seeing, you know, where they're going to be and how they're all kind of going to come together again and just be stronger and be better. I, I can't wait. I can't freak. I know that there is an element of, of sadness to it because it's like, the, 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 the straw hats that you know and love and fell in love, they're still, that's, they're still them. I know. But just the way that they looked and the way that yeah. you, you met them and, you know, they're growing, they're changing and change is, is scary. Yeah. But. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh -huh. I'm so, so, so excited. I'm excited too. I don't want that to be clout. I don't want that to be overruled. Just be being like kind of sad but i'm more sad at like i just don't want it to end like i remember when we were reading berserk for the first time and it was getting more and more like closer and closer to the final chapter i was like dreading it i mean i wanted to read it but i was so sad mm -hmm. i was like oh this next page means one less page of berserk and like when we catch up it's going to be so great to catch up with everyone and be on that same level as everyone else but <sighs> yeah it's the journey, you know, uh, I can't uh, I can't wait to just be where everybody else is at and just be a part of the conversation and be there with everybody else in the community. Um, I yeah, I want to I we, we, we've started getting, you know, even just like how our, our figure cases have become more and more full of one piece characters. I recently got a Frankie figure. Uh, Megan got a Luffy one. We got Laws. We got Zoros. We got Usopp's Namis. I mean, we got, almost got them all choppies. Um, but uh, I this this series is just it's it's got my whole heart. And it uh, really it's crazy. It's it's so much fun. I yeah. love it. It's like yeah, it's just everything great about this medium mm. manga. It's fun. It's silly. But it's serious and emotional. And it's got a, it's got something to say. Yeah. It's got something to say. Um, but that is gonna do it for our um, you know, more laid back type of uh one piece video this week. Taking a little reading break um just for this week before we dive into the new world. I think we're both so excited. Um and just so ready to go. It was so hard to not read this week. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, we needed to take a little breather. We've been going hard, uh, and we needed to fill that tank back up so we can come back, um, you know, just like the Straw Hats, stronger, you know? Um, but before we go, the last thing we got to do is we got to reveal that done piece art. Ooh, I, yeah, lit. First up, we have Megan. This is, okay, and the logic is we wanted it to be, I'll explain it, I'll show it, and then I'll explain it. So, drum roll please, here is Megan. Oh, it's me, Psych! Oh! <laughs> um, I had Megan pulled up, uh, I thought I had Megan pulled up, but. Uh, it's okay! You know, sometimes you just gotta roll with it. Um, so yeah, here's me. Uh, so uh, the, the, the thought process behind, um, this is that in the first, um, you know, art that we did, we were discovering a series. We were just diving into it and learning about the world and the characters as we went, we were dressed as, uh, I was dressed as Luffy and Megan was kind of, you know, Robin Nami inspired, um, but uh, was very much Megan, and of course, uh, Nolan was modeled after Usopp. However, the thought process here is now that, uh, you know, it feels like we understand the world and the characters definitely a lot more mm -hmm. than we did, it was about taking elements from our favorite characters and combining them, right? 
and feeling like we were characters that were a part of this world. And it's funny because yours mm -hmm. are on the S tier of your list. Oh, wow. So you that's have Luffy, so you have Frankie, and you have a piece of Usopp on there. And let's just look. I mean, this uh, obviously, this is, uh, we got a comment who does the art for your done piece. This is all Josh, the madman, the mad lad. Um, all of it is, is him. So, I mean, just look at the details. Like, this fool even like drew his tats, like, perfect. It's so awesome when he first showed me the you know the line art and the thought process i was like this is so lit and i i'm obsessed i love it thank you megan thank you for the, it's great. the kind words it's yeah. really great it really captures the essence of like one piece but also like like you you know yeah and that's like so yeah little things that's and that's what I, all i wanted to do and hoped to do but and you got luffy's hat you got frankie's glasses frankie's shirt um usopp's slingshot and i just uh the scar that is on Luffy's chest instead of being an X. It's a V. Woo! For volume one. So yeah, this is uh, this is me. And uh, you know, in the picture that I referenced, uh, Luffy had a six pack right there, mm. and I definitely did not draw that in. Uh, yeah. I uh, you know I I uh, left the six pack out and put a little put a little, little uh, line there to indicate uh, maybe yeah. a little bit of belly hanging over. Yeah, well we said we're going to be, you know, for the new world we're going to be working. You know, we're going to we're going to be changing. So like when Josh comes back for the next episode, um he will indeed have a six pack. Definitely not. Um <laughs> do not say that. Uh, I wish. I wish. Um yeah. but uh, you know, never say never. Exactly. Now on to Megan. So let's take this bad boy off the screen. And three, two, one, boom. Yay! I love it. So uh, again, to just go along the same lines, um, little pieces of some of your favorite characters. Mm -hmm. This is obviously Megan holding Chopper's hat. Um, she's got a little log pose on there. Uh, actually, Kariha's shirt the uh yeah. the the the, uh, the sakura blossoms mm -hmm. that uh that the same pattern that kariha wears and uh zoro's sword on there for good measure for good just measure in case. even though she said she would rather strangle people yeah in the quiz. i mean i don't know how you could like put that how you could um you know like interpret that in art um, right, but just my face right. alone just know that like you could potentially get strangled by me at any moment right um so take it as you will. But I, I, I love this. I do. I hope you like it. I hope you like it. It's so, I can't wait to see it done. All the details. Uh, I got the hoop earring. You know, I had to do it to him like that because that's how I do it. That's how she rolls. And I, I just love it so much. And there will be, it'll make more sense, you know, in the final render. Uh, obviously, you can see like that's one of the bands of like Chopper's hat is like behind Megan's head. All yeah. that stuff will be, you know, it'll, I mean, it'll make sense. The only thing I would have like uh, a note on. Okay, is like maybe well. possibly like I, I know that like maybe you're just going off of like Nami's like arm structure, but oh, I'm think? definitely more buff. Um, so maybe like just add more emphasis on the I did. muscle. I did. Well, maybe you could like just go back before the finished product and just give. I it did. A yeah, bit I, more did. No, I, I did. I definitely did. Um, anyone that knows me, would be like, oh, like you know. Oh, that's like looks stacked. like a weak Megan. Yeah, if they saw this, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. they got. I'll, you gotta I'll, have the, I'll consider it. I'll, do a little I'll, no, gun, no, no. like just a little more gun. Sure, yeah, yeah, no promises. Because it's just like more. If, if I you're have going time. to a realistic, like if I have time, if I have time, but uh, that that takes like extra effort, and we'll see, we'll see, mm. we'll see. Um, but yeah, there it is. Uh, I'm not going to show you. Obviously, these are not the colored versions. Um, these are just the line art, sort of the concept art, if you will. Um, they're going to be colored. They're going to be together um you know with a logo position differently it's going to be a vibe it's going to be a look but here's just kind of you know what uh, what we're working on so just wanted to give you guys a preview Yay. of that but that is it um thank you for watching thank you for staying all the way to the very end if you stayed all the way to the very end um we appreciate it it helps us out so much uh, it definitely helps us out in the youtube algorithm because youtube for whatever reason does not favor these long form type of videos so you be in here helps out a whole whole lot i hope that you are ready uh for for us to dive in and if you're diving in whether you're re-experiencing it whether you know you're you're diving in for the first time um with us um it doesn't matter we're just so excited to can be continuing this journey with all of you guys and i hope you're just as excited as we all are <laughs>
Yeah, let because us know how you liked this type of format video. It was yeah. a lot of fun to do. Um, obviously, we just love talking about One Piece in general, not only just reviewing the arcs and the chapters and the volumes. Uh, let us know if there's any more ideas you'd like to see from us in this type of format um, because it is very fun. Yeah, somebody, a lot of people suggested that we watch like um, episode zero or episode something Episode like zero, yeah. Uh, the movies and, would and be fun. And we didn't fun. have time. But we didn't have time, but... We might watch it before we do our next episode. Mm, um, but like you yeah. said, movie stuff too. If you like this kind of format, if you like One Piece content, but uh, something outside of just the uh, reviews and discussions, definitely let us know because we had a lot of fun doing this and we'd love to yeah, do more of it. Yeah, we... Uh, the it's funny because we, we did, <laughs> I was going to like give a little, this is a, this is a little, I don't know if I should have uh, asked you if I, if I could talk about this, but um, we, we did watch a, a part of a movie um, recently. Oh um, yeah, we had to stop it. We yeah. had to stop it, but that would be a fun thing because I mean, I yeah, was having I mean, a blast. Oh, I mean, we were having so much fun. Basically, we got a little too uh, ahead of ourselves <laughs> and just wanted to watch like a movie and you know, we're just like, you know, lit on one piece and we're like, okay, well we've met all the characters that are in film gold. Like maybe we can just watch film gold. And, um, literally as, uh, soon as Sabo came on screen, um, yeah, we, we, we stopped the movie and, and I, you know, whatever. I, I know people are going to be bummed about that, but I mean, it's like we've seen figures of this we've man. We've seen I figures mean, of already... him. I've seen, um, like, you know, whether it's fan art or I've seen manga covers, like I've seen yeah. like, you know, I, I there's still so much that I don't know. I don't know. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. We didn't get to the point where he even I don't even spoke a sentence. We saw no, yeah. it and we went, we OK, done. Like, saw his hat. Yeah. And we were just like, ah. yeah, no, we got to watch it uh, as soon as um we get to that point. I think we but I, I dress Rosa is when uh, you can watch it after that. Mm. I think it's OK to watch after that. But don't come for us. I just wanted to let you. I want to share that honest. because we're just, just being, being honest. honest. We want to be open with you guys. Yeah, but that is going to do it for another episode. Thank you again for watching. Um, before we go, we have to shout out. We have to thank our wonderful, beautiful, amazing our Patreon members. Yeah. Thank every single one of you guys for uh, your support. I know that uh, all, all the majority of our support comes from. Uh, the One Piece community and our One Piece videos. And that means so much to us because we have so much fun doing these videos and it just uh, feels like it comes through and that you guys feel us loving it and feel us having fun and want to support that and, and want to, you know, help us do more cosplays and do crazier prop builds and do all kinds of things and, and, you know, raise the production level of this show even more. We're not done yet. We haven't hit the ceiling. We got, Woo! we got a long way to go. Um, like I said, plenty more cosplays coming, plenty more, uh, things coming, uh, in these one piece videos, wanting to put our whole, you know what into it. And, uh, we couldn't do it at the level that we do it without you. Like you guys are the reason that we're able to do it. Um, at the, especially at the level that we are able to do it at. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so, so, so much. Thank um, you guys. But, uh, if, uh, for whatever reason you can't, uh, at this moment in time, uh, support financially or show your support financially, do not worry at all. Um, I've been broke more than I've had money. Uh, and, uh, there are plenty of other ways that uh, you can show your support that help us out just as much and that mean just as much to us. And Megan will tell you uh, what some of those things are. Yes, um, I have been so happy. We're so happy that we've seen more and more of this in our comment section. I mean, leaving a comment in alone is helping us in the algorithm, spreading our episodes far and wide. If you don't have any money, um, can't support us in that way. You can definitely support us in free ways, commenting. Um, a lot of algorithm gang gangers out there yeah. and they are sick and they comment on our One Piece videos. They comment on other videos. Uh, just a comment. Um, algorithm gang, uh, period, a comma, an emoji, like anything at all um, acts as a free tip to us and our channel. And it helps uh, the videos spread far and wide across the algorithm sphere, verse, uh, C, uh, line. Um, sure, yeah, I got to yeah. cover all the bases. Um, and it really does help. Uh, co you know, commenting, subscribing, liking. If you haven't subscribed yet, like, please, even if... You know, you, you just subscribe to subscribe. It helps. It helps if you just watch us every, not, you know, time and time again. Um, it really does help us out in liking these videos and sharing them with other One Piece uh, fans across yes. the world. Yes. Any 
in all ways that you choose to show your support uh, means so much to us and we really do appreciate it and i'm only saying this now because i forgot to say it earlier mm -hmm. but if you would like to become a patreon member or youtube member and get early access to all of our videos including our one piece videos uh, and access to our exclusive bonus patreon podcast uh, volume one extra where we recently uh, did a playthrough of doki doki literature club that was really fun and a lot of people on the patreon seem to really enjoy it uh, if you want to get access to that early access to all our episodes, all that stuff on uh, our lowest tier at uh, both places on YouTube and on Patreon. Then you can become a YouTube member or a Patreon member by going to patreon.com slash volume one pod or by clicking join on this video. Um, you know, grab yourself a grab yourself a, a jolly, a volume one Jolly Roger T2 while yeah. you're at it. Why and not? follow us Fuck on it, um huh? <laughs> uh, we've been getting um a crazy amount of um support on twitter lately and it has been yeah. so heartwarming to see people so cool. um shout us out to other one piece youtubers and other one piece podcasts people who are just looking for other one piece content yeah, yeah and like recommending us like you guys are crazy like i saw that and i was like oh my god like it is so insane and just you know following us on instagram twitter um we post updates about um you know things that we will be covering instead of just on the youtube um you know uh what is it the youtube what? youtube uh page community page community page there you go um we post on twitter and even discord too just updates about you know what chat is really reading stuff like that so if you um want to go check those out check those out yeah we got so much fun stuff planned thank you for being here thank you for the love thank you for the support um that's gonna do it for another one piece video the only thing left to do now is to get out of here on our outro that is always the same and never, ever changes, which today, Megan, is... Mm. Could be like on to the your, new world or something like that. I'll or did we say that in the last one? Your list brought tears to my eyes. I mean, it's not bad, but... Your, bon voyage. Did we say that one? We may have. Um, 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 um Fishman Island, here we come. Fishman Island, here we come. Fishman Island, here we come. That's pretty good. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, we'll do that then. Mm -hmm. uh, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And until next time, Fishman, Fishman Island, Island, here we come. Yo-ho-ho.